What's up guys? John and Sharice here for another Cupid's Corner. Corona Isolation Edition, okay? <laughs> so uh, obviously everybody's been affected around the United States with this big outbreak of the coronavirus, mm -hmm. right? Um, different states are instituting different things right now. Um, so at that point, some people are in isolation, some people are locked down to their homes, and some people are still free to roam about a little bit. So let's get into some different things because you might be spending a little bit more time with your partner than you previously have. Right? <laughs> that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Well, hopefully it's a good thing. And we're going to give you some good tips today to hopefully make it a good thing or even better. Mm -hmm. And this is really a time to reignite things or really to get back to knowing your partner and maybe spending some quality time together. Right? I agree. Okay. So let's get into some different things that you guys can do. First off, make sure your partner is staying healthy. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. Make sure you guys are taking your vitamins. As you can see, me and Sharice are doing IVs. So we're doing IV therapy that have an abundance of different things, of super antioxidants, vitamins, uh, different things that hopefully help us stay healthy to build our immune system. So we're actually doing this together. Um, at that point, you guys can have some free time together. So that could be bedroom time. Mm -hmm. um, if you have some kids, you guys can have them downstairs because the internet's still working. Kids are still playing video games or on their iPad and stuff like that. So you guys can do that. If you guys don't have kids, it's even better, <laughs> right? Why don't you guys have some pleasure in maybe a space that you guys have never had? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you guys are a bedroom couple, usually all the time, uh, maybe the couch, maybe the basement, <laughs> you know, it just all depends what you guys Wash are doing. Wash your dryer, you know. Wash your dryer. Keep things, uh, you know, keep things fresh, right? So it might be exciting for you guys, and there might be something you guys might have not tried before. This might be the time. Don't get too crazy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or find out information about your partner that maybe you have not got to ask them. Do you know your partner's favorite color, their favorite yeah. flowers? their favorite outfit. I mean, this is the really time to really get to know your partner inside and out. And if you guys haven't had a lot of time together because everybody's been working and all this stuff, you guys have different schedules. I mean, now your schedule is probably going to be on the same schedule. <laughs> so, you know, and do your best. You know, a lot of people, you know, they don't want to get cabin fever. Don't get cabin fever. Do stuff with your partner. You guys can exercise inside. That's something, so if you guys... Everybody has a backyard too, right? right? I mean, some people do. Most people do. You go outside in the backyard, and I mean, us Floridians here, yeah. you know, we have the sun outside, so why wouldn't you just take two chairs, go sit out in the grass? I've actually thought about that. Yeah. Um, sit out in the grass, nobody else is back there except for us, so yeah. we're not around other people, so we can abide by the social distancing. Right. Um, and just go out there and get a tan and relax and hang out, talk. Yeah. You can even lay out a picnic. Uh, How many? Uh, listen. That's good. Everybody likes picnics. That's really cool. Okay, so you could pack up some sandwiches. I know it's like right inside your house, but you can literally lay out a blanket, pack up some sandwiches, do some drinks, wine, whatever, and then just lay out there and talk and catch up and just spend some quality time together. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, reignite, you know, come together again. If you guys are already a strong couple anyway, this should be some nice quality time that you guys can spend together. Nobody's gonna interrupt you. You ain't gotta be nowhere. There's no events going on. There's no for guys, you know, like you know, we watch the basketball game or football game or baseball game. <laughs> well, there is no football, basketball, or baseball right now to watch. So at that point, there is no sports center hardly. I know, like here in Tampa, Brady's coming here supposedly. So that was a big talk of the town last night here in Tampa Bay. But other than that. You can't do anything. You can't watch any games. So you can't be like, honey, I want to watch the game tonight. Um, so at that point, you guys will have some more quality time. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys can find a series on Netflix, you know, Netflix and chill together, watch some TV. You know, we said last Cupid's Corner, the TV in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. This would be a time to have the TV in the bedroom. Moving in the bedroom. Right? Yes. Right? Uh, you know, so <laughs> at that point, like I said, you guys can exercise together. If you guys have not been exercising or want to get an exercise plan or a diet plan, this probably will be your time. Yeah. Um, you know, if hopefully you guys have groceries and all your supplies and everything's good there. Um, that's really what it's all about. This will be about quality time and spending it together. Hopefully we won't have a long time indoors, mm -hmm. you know, the 60 days or 90 days, hopefully not. Hopefully it's eight weeks at tops um, and we're out and about and we're living our regular lives again. 
But during this time, make good of it. Educate yourselves. You guys can read online, so you guys can read together. And there's a lot of different things. Even if you guys play video games, you guys guess you guys can play video games together. Mm -hmm. You know, find out what your partner really likes to do. This is really a good time to do it. So, I mean, that's our tip, I guess. Well, it's not even just what your partner likes to do. There might be something that you do that your partner didn't know that they liked to do mm -hmm. until they did it. Mm -hmm. Another thing you guys can do, just while we're on the topic, is cook a nice dinner. See, me on the other hand, see, I don't get to cook very often. I think the only time I get to cook, if I do cook, <laughs> is gonna be Sundays. And Sunday, I'll cook a dinner, we'll all sit down, we'll have a great dinner, and you know, I don't like the TV on or anything like that. But, this is the extra time that you get, you know, so just, yeah. Make a nice dinner for each other. The guy can do it. The girl can do it. It doesn't matter Absolutely. girl guy. Make dinner together. Together would be good. That would be cool, right? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. I mean, there's so many different things you guys can do inside, you know, while this whole thing passes over. Yeah. So, I mean, don't look at it as a negative thing. I know, you know, a lot of people out there could be struggling, might have lost their jobs, um, work, or, or something like that is going wrong. You guys are just negative. On a negative tip, listen, we're going to get over this. Everybody's got to work together to get over this, but in the meantime, at least have a good time with your partner, you know, learn more about your partner, make it a, you know, a great experience instead of a negative experience. Anything that's came negative in our lives, we've always tried to turn into a positive. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, sometimes it's really hard to do, you know, because you think about it and just dwell, you dwell, you dwell. Don't listen to all the media and all the hype. If you need to, turn off that portion mm -hmm. of the TV. Turn on a movie, turn on a funny movie, get some laughs, you know? Um, stress can bring down and break down the immune system. So mm -hmm. all this thinking and paranoia could actually hurt your health. You know, if you guys are laughing, they say, you know, that's actually something that could actually you can help. burn calories like that. Oh, that's good, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that's a good one. So, you know, just make sure it's a positive experience. Make sure you guys are getting everything out of each other at this point in time, and you guys are spending quality time together. Whether it's in the bedroom or outside, pick, pick was a good one. So, you know, I know you know Sharice likes to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You guys might like to do stuff like that. Your wife or girlfriend or partner may have wanted something that you couldn't do because you didn't have the time. Well, now you have the time. Well, I mean, especially too, guys. Remember, we're always super busy checking emails on the phone and on social media and keeping up with the news and all that other stuff. Put the phone down for a second. I mean, what are you racing to? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to race to. There's nothing that's going to change your craziness, especially if you're already isolated in your home and stuff like that. You guys know you ain't going nowhere. There's no bars, uh, <laughs> restaurants here in Florida are 50% occupancy. Oh in some states, they're closed down completely unless it's mm -hmm. dine in or take out, which is a good thing too because listen, you guys can get the food or get it delivered and have that nice dinner together, or you guys can cook for yourselves, like Cherie said. Um, you know, there's no nightclubs open here in Florida. Uh, bars are shut down. So at that point, there's nowhere else to, nowhere else to let's, go. Let's hit the rewind button because it's always fun to hit the rewind button. Sure. <laughs> rewind. So, listen, a couple things and I'll share this with you. So, when me and John back, I want to say about, I want to say it's about 10 years ago, okay? So, there was places that closed at 3 o'clock in the morning because nobody stays open until after, you know, 3 a.m. Except for, I think, the casino, Hard Rock Casino yeah. used to stay open that late. Nobody wanted to drive that far anyway. So, we used to go back to the house and he had this amazing <sighs> DJ setup, okay? He had two big speakers. He had the, the turntables and the whole nine. So, this is where you get fancy, right? Yeah. And you turn on the speakers, blast it. I mean, no one's going to tell you not to. Yeah. And you play some good music and just chill. I mean, these are cool things that we did that we can share with you guys because Absolutely. I'm not saying if you have a DJ, you know, equipment piece down in your yeah. garage and you just jam out in the garage and have a couple beers or whatever it is. Turn on the radio. <laughs> Turn on the radio. Dance jam together. Out. Yeah, yeah, dance together. Bring each other, you know, some excitement and, and bring some, you know, some happiness to each other. You know, and, and don't get negative on each other. That's the best thing we can possibly say to you guys. Be positive. Don't you badger know. your partner at yeah. the house because don't you guys are together. Yeah. You know, this can also be a time for spring cleaning. Ooh. I mean, what about if you have a closet you need to clean out or you got all this, maybe these shoes you need to organize or something? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it could be anything, guys. I'm sure that there's a hundred million things to think of. I mean, even yeah. old school stuff like board games and yeah, cards. Cool. Good cards are good. Awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I love Go Fish. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, there's a lot of different things you guys can do. Listen, 
you know, it's been a hard thing for a lot of people out there to get their heads wrapped around what's going on out there. We'll get through it. You guys will get through it. Make sure you guys are building that extra special bond with your partner or significant other. And, you know, just show each other a lot of love and a lot of happiness. Okay? So I think that really covers most of the things that you guys can do during this corona crisis as far as uh, enhancing your relationship. Mm -hmm. You guys have to make sure that you guys are getting your vitamins and you guys are taking antioxidants or eating antioxidants, foods, all that. If you guys need help, we can always help you. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. If you guys are looking for libido enhancers at this time, Why we not? can help you out. So you guys will be inside, <laughs> so you guys can do it all. So we have female libido enhancers and male libido enhancers, and you guys can see our medical practitioners from the comfort of your own home, on your computer, on your phone, on your tablet, and we can get it sent directly from the pharmacy to your doorstep. Never even left your house. So you won't have to go outside, or if you're isolated or locked down, this is essential coming as far as a delivery to your doorstep. You guys will be set, and you guys can do that extra performance. Yep, Superman. Maybe it's role playing. You know, who knows? Role get crafty, guys. <laughs> you know, you know, get excited. Use your head. Think outside the box and have fun. That's the main thing. I'll put on my Wonder Woman outfit tonight for John. Yeah, so I'm getting excited about that already, guys. <laughs> so listen, tune in. I appreciate you tuning in today, 11 a.m. ABC every Sunday. We're gonna be coming at you guys. So we'll be with you through this crisis. We're all going to stick together and get through it. We love you guys, and thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys.